You know, as, as I've said many times before, I don't really know how to define the Can Empire in a musical sense. It's a very diverse band. But what I um, love about it is the atmosphere, when it's right, when, when the show's there, when people have come with this great sense of occasion and the band's playing well, there's this thing that happens. I guess a lot of bands would know that about just, just um, the feeling you get when you're really connected to an audience. Now, I guess one of the, you know, the foundations, the, 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 the forming intents that I had when I was young is I used to sit in with bands. Me and Holly started doing that, and I, when I met Harry, that's what we did. We'd go and sit into these few clubs and have lockouts late at night in Melbourne. The, um, the Z Bar was one, Dizzy's Jazz Club, Bennett's Lane. These, these places where, you, you know, w was all about the musicians and playing and, and sometimes they'd lock up the doors and, and you'd play all night, you know, you'd leave, you know, in the morning, bleary eyed, but very, very happy. And I remember being at shows, you know, people like um, Gilaski, you know, the late Gilaski, the great Gilaski, the uh, Julio Harris, the Bobby Valentines, the Shuffle Club, these, these bands that um, just, brought the audience with them and they did something magic and it didn't matter if there were 20 people in the room or whatever you would just have this night that changed you i remember going and seeing the tedescos perform flamenco at canela back in the early days and having the same experience thinking that this is something world class but it's only for these few people you know for these few people who are really dedicated to live music in these very particular worlds and and i remember thinking when the band was really um forming i thought even though we're playing music that isn't mainstream, um, if we could take that intensity, that experience of those small rooms that I'd had the pleasure of either seeing from an audience perspective or sitting in with these bands or whatever, if we could take that and bring it to a larger audience and try and create that in a room, that would be something really special. And so while I can't you know, define the band stylistically or anything like that, I can say that the um, great intent which is something that was really followed through by that, you know, the, the Cat Empire of the last 20 years has been to take, you know, the magic of that experience and try and bring it to a much bigger audience. And, and I'm really, really indebted and full of respect to those great Melbourne bands that we grew up with who were um, gracious enough to have these young, reckless, probably quite immature musicians on stage with them at that time but they taught us so much. It was class in session. They, they taught us about that energy and that intent to play with everything that you can possibly muster and to celebrate live music and the life that it brings. And, um, and that, for me, defines the Cat Empire better than any um, you know, silly musical description that we can give it. All right. <laughs>